This is the new and final this, this is not okay. Attack on Titan trailer finally launching. And you know what that means? <laughs> It's the final Attack on Titan trailer, and we have a lot to break down. This one's gonna be a little bit longer than my other trailer breakdown, so stick around. While I saw many fans complaining about how short this trailer is, oh boy, do they show actually quite a bit of stuff, even to merit its own video, no less. So, if you enjoy my Attack on Titan content and want to see the channel grow to 100,000 subscribers, so I can, after 12, years finally get the 100k sub plaque then hit the subscribe button or else starting out most of this trailer really is just dialogue from armin which is how we start the trailer depressingly handsome armin he talks about racing aaron and mikasa to the tree on the hill which is such a nice callback to the first episode of the series this also seems to be an anime original moment to some extent at least with presentation as i believe this dialogue wasn't in the manga. Now, I want to say as well, I don't know. I haven't read the manga in about a couple years now. So if there are some hardcore AOT fanatics watching, please do correct me in the comments. It would help me out a ton. While this is happening, we then quickly cut to a lot of frames, really. So we're going to take it slow and break all that down, too. The first frame after cutting to black the first time is of Armit. Seemingly excited, walking up to Aaron, eager to show him the book he found with all of the information in it, of course, with the, the image of the sea and all that stuff. And Aaron seems to be somehow in his own world. I wonder if by this time, Aaron knew of his own future and maybe that's why he looks so, I don't know, he seems so solemn in that little frame. After cutting to black some more, we get a frame of my wife, Mikasa, I call dibs, going to shoot a thunder spear flying through the air. I imagine this takes place probably moments after the episode will begin most likely, because what better way to start out an all-out attack than, you know, with Mikasa. Armin once again talks about the sensation of how good it felt to run back then, which I think is such a nice touch of detail. Armin likely is depressed, he's filled with anxiety, and because of that, is just suffocated by the entire ordeal that he's in. I mean, you know, having to kill his friend he once thought was their savior, but turned out to be the ultimate evil. Probably the biggest evil of all time at that point in history. Back then, he wasn't encumbered by the sorrow and duty that he has to carry out a mission. Back then, he was just a kid, and the promise of a future gave hope to the young lad. And that juxtaposition between Sorrow and the unencumbered, hatful youth really paints a grim picture of how things have changed for the worst. Editor C Tactics here. Uh, I forgot to add right here. Uh, this is the Beast Titan form uh, for Falco. It looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, it looks way better than I thought it would, especially in the manga. It looks way different. Well, not way different, but you know, it looks a little different. So this is a nice little. Neat little touch here. What do you guys think about the Beast Titan form for Falco? Put in the comments below. This is when we get another cut to, I think one of the most impressive and all inspiring scenes in the entire trailer. We see John holding on to Reiner. I assume because of this, we will indeed see Reiner outside of the armor Titan form. I love the touch of the ray of light shining through the rib cage of the founding as it beams through and hits John and Reiner, painting the picture that these two in this moment are one of the few people who have all of the world in the palm of their hands. I mean, their actions in this moment are paramount. As well, it shows that John is likely shocked by saving Reiner, the man who killed, well, a lot of his friends. The man who, in the last episode, even found it very hard to forgive Reiner. In fact, he never did. Obviously, we'll have to see the context of the scene to get into why John did that. Was it because he still cares about Reiner deep down? Or was it because of his duty to the suicide mission? Comment your picks down below in the, in the comments. Which, by the way, if you're gonna even think about commenting some spoilers, you'll be hauled off to the gulag. Don't tempt this man. Don't tempt it. I have connections to Neko arc. <laughs> While we see these beautifully drawn expressions on John and Reiner in the heat of the moment, Armin continues to speak, talking about in that moment, a thought came to his head. This is then interspersed 
in a image of the flying boat, something that I think will become an underrated piece of iconography for the series. I mean, the flying boat, to me at least, is really iconic, especially for this later era of Attack on Titan. And another is the Cart Titan strapped to the gills with belts of TNT explosives, which I have no doubts someone will do fan art of for peak. It ain't gonna be me. Okay, I'll commission it. Then we finally see one of the star moments of the trailer, and a shot that made me immediately go to my childhood, reminding me of Gundam Wing Endless Waltz, where much like the winged Gundam herself, or his self, Mikasa does an epic pose with wings coming out of her back, which look to be white. And this calls back to a lot of Mikasa's color scheme throughout the final season. Mikasa represents white, which means purity and love, and Aaron's is black, which represents hatred and anger. They have been sporting these colors respectively pretty much throughout the entire final season. These wings represent a culmination moment for Mikasa's character as she becomes in many ways sort of like the guardian angel for the human race and one of the most important people ever to live in those moments. It's just an incredible shot. It's very beautiful. Also, something maybe I should commission for art as well. This is when the dialogue gets to Armin's next line where he says that maybe he was born to race Mikasa and Eren to this hill forever. And to me, this is a clear reference to the idea of cyclical time that AOT fans have now come to know all too well, especially with when it comes to Eren's character. Armin was born again and again only to be destined to show Mikasa and Eren that book and start his journey with them each and every time. He doesn't mean he literally was meant to play tag with them and chase them forever. This is actually a metaphor for Armin choosing to follow Eren and Mikasa. He realizes how helpless that he is to this fact that no matter what timeline it is, he'll always be there, following silently behind Eren and Mikasa. Now, to ask you guys for the comments below, is it a curse or is it a gift? That is the question for you. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. While this is happening, we see shots of Levi, Connie, and Peek who are suffering through the battle in anguish over, I assume, some of the fights they're in. This also confirms there will be scenes with Peek outside of her cart titan form, really nice. This is also when we see a great shot and another, I think, anime original change of Armin looking and seeing Ymir in the reflection of his eye. This shows the haunting presence of the all-powerful Ymir and her effect on all of what's happened in the series thus far. Also, not in the manga in this way, as in the original manga, Ymir straight up is just kinda shown but now through Armin's eyes reflection. This makes me think I was right about the anime adding more original scenes to flesh out the slightly rushed details, just of a few things in the final volume, but we'll see. What do you guys think? After that, we see Mikasa with the eyes of bewilderment, which is striking between the beauty of her eyes and face juxtaposed with the sweat of horror she's likely seeing unfold. I mean, just really, what a great shot. Same with Levi's, we get another shot focused on his, quite frankly, beautiful eyes, with a single dot of light in the center of his iris. Then we see the Lord of Tall, Barclophagus, with a tear in his eye. Nothing much there, let's move on quickly. Then we quickly cut to a shot of a camera chasing the female titan being ravenously surrounded by her adoring fans. Bias, bias, bias. Smash or pass? Female titan in the final season, what do you guys think? I want to see in the comments, y'all. Be truthful. I won't judge. After all, this is the final time we'll be simping over Annie, especially Annie's female Titan form. So I want to see it. Any closet, any Titan fans out there, comment below. At least for old times' sake. After that very Evil Dead-like shot with Annie, we then once again see the vision of Eren as he wakes up under the tree, where it all started as Mikasa says she'll see him again and she'll be seeing us for the final time because this time it'll be the end. How poetic of a way to close this trailer. I think that this trailer probably was one of the best I've seen yet in terms of the dialogue chosen, the shots chosen, and the editing. I, I really love these short, sweet, and simple trailers that get to the point because how many times has the final season been delayed into multiple parts? I, I think at this point, 40 seconds is more than enough to tide us over until fall 2023 for the final episode of this incredible and amazing iconic series. Obviously though, I could be wrong, so please do comment below what you thought about the trailer. As well, my opinions on AOE, anime original ending, have not changed in the slightest. In fact, it seems 
Based on every shot in this trailer, they have shown they have only added stuff, not changed the ending one bit. Also, considering how there has been no evidence of AoE thus far, I have no reason to suspect it to be true. We will be getting the original manga ending in all of its glory. AOT is showing up and MAPPA isn't playing around. Attack on Titan looks absolutely incredible, and this final episode, as far as I can see, is going to be a guaranteed success based on the animation and VA work they showcase in this trailer. If you haven't, become a patron to help grow the channel. There, you'll get access to my One Piece series where I review all of the arcs one by one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.